Chicken Coop Chronicles. Well, I'm here with my cousin Ben, and he noticed this morning that my truant hen, Minnie, has come back. And she's brought with her a huge brood of chicks. So I'm hoping I get to show them to you. Also hoping to get them into the coop and start taming the chicks and start controlling it and make sure everybody stays safe because now that they're little beings there are going to be a lot of critters going after them. Now, she was in here and I don't see her now. I'm going to guess this was her hiding spot. Let's go check the coop and see if she's in there. Hey Ben? Okay. Gotta get you on the tape. Oh yeah. <laughs> All sorts of critters are going to want to eat those little chicks. And they're cute as all get out. Here she is. All right, remember, don't get excited. Hi, Minnie. Hi, Minnie. Do you have all your chicks? Here she does. Oh, my goodness. Look at all those things. Wow. It's impressive that they all fit under her. Yeah, it is. Oh my goodness. Oh good, she's gonna perfect. She's gonna take them up the ramp. Go on, take them up the ramp. Now little Minnie is extremely distrustful of humans. And there's a reason for that. When she was about the size of those pullets, and that's what you call little hens before you know what they are. Little chicks before you know what they are. You don't know if they're male or female, so they're just called pullets. When she was about the size of them, I picked her out from Tractor Supply, and it was really hard to get her, because she kept running and flying and freaking out. Aww. She's talking to eat so fast. I gotta put chick feet on the, uh, on the shopping list. We gotta go get milk and chicken feed. And uh, chick starter, actually, it's called. Look at that. The proud mama with how many? One, two. Oh, I can't keep count. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> A lot is the answer. I suspect that some of these belong to Missy as well as Minnie. And they're all Phantom's chicks. He's the only rooster that's been around. And he's a little small, so these are going to be little banties. And they all have similar coloring. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Are you getting the uh, feeder in the shot? Um, that plastic ugly tank thing. I'm trying not to. You might be able to get a shot from this angle. That's true. I might. I'm going to try and zoom in on the phone. I know it's just digital zoom, but still. Aww. We can crop it out. Crop the feeder out. I could actually probably just delete it from the shot. GIMP is a powerful tool. So you hear that little cluck cluck clucking? That's her saying, I've got some food here, I've got some food here. Minnie, you proud little hen. You good little mommy. I want to meet your brood. Not eat them. Meet them. Not turn them into meat. I know there's too Four, many puns five, here. Six, Anyhow. Seven, eight, seven, eight. Eleven. Eleven. There's eleven. I think Missy was contributing to this because Missy would sneak away to lay her egg in the woodshed. And I think Minnie and Missy were both building up a cache and then Missy was adding to it. And then Minnie was the chosen one to uh, sit on them. Now last year, Missy went broody, just like Autumn and Blackie did. And Daisy did go broody a few days ago and I you know, kept popping her off the nest and thankfully she 
stop being broody, but I still have one blackie who's broody. So if I can, I'd like to steal a couple of these and put them under that broody one, and that should break the broodiness. Aww, they're so cute. But, you know what we have to do? Benjamin. I am, yeah. We need to put them in the other half of the coop and set up water and food and everything. Yep. And, uh, yeah. So that's gonna be a little bit traumatic. Oh, I didn't finish telling the story to the camera. So when I first got Minnie, I had to pick her out from a pile of chicks at Tractor Supply. Come on in. And then let's close the door behind us. And she didn't want to be picked up. I don't know what she was thinking, but she was screaming and running and was not happy to be picked up. There's a gap there. That's not good. Can you pull it in a little farther? Yeah. Good. Okay. And maybe pick up some of the rocks at the base there and just pile it up so that because they'll slip through that gap. Hi, Minnie. Boy, is she a proud mama? I think these pullets will fit right through the chicken wire, you know that? <laughs> Aww, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. Alright, so we want to kind of encourage her to move mm -hmm. into through that doorway. Mm -hmm. So. Let's, um, I don't want to scare her, mm -hmm. but that's going to be the safest place for them. And, my goodness. See her white earlobes? Mm -hmm. I don't quite know what that means. But I think it's a sign that she's not ready to be bred with. You can see how she's like pointing out things to eat. Yeah. To the chicks. Showing them the ropes. I might even make it to the 10 minute mark. <laughs> For my viewers, apparently 10 minutes is the point at which you can keep more ad revenue. I am not monetizing these videos, it's just for fun. You know, in the future, if I actually start making a lot of videos and I start getting a lot of views, maybe I'll think about making some money from it, but for now, it's just for fun. So, it doesn't make a difference to me, but that's an interesting tidbit that I learned recently. I really ought to shoot this on my good camera, but I don't have an editing workflow set up for that, so. <laughs> Hi, Minnie. Aww. Minnie's such a good hen. You know what the best thing would be? At nighttime, she's going to settle down with them. And that's when I can pick them up. But, I don't know where she'll be at nighttime. It looks to me like she's going to bring them back here.
Do you think we should try that? She's brought them in here, where it's pretty safe. That's that's a good sign. And she might keep them here. Oh, look at them pecking at her. Hey, hey, don't peck your mama's eye. Minnie. Now, how many of these are roosters and how many of them are hens, Minnie? On chickens, all the uh, genitalia is inside the bird, so it's really hard to tell when they're this young what type of bird they are, whether they're a male or a female. I don't know how. Some people know how, but I do not. And I'm not even going to pretend. Not for the camera. <laughs> Aww. Now what she's doing is she's taking a dust bath and what they do is they kick up the dust and they get it inside their feathers and it gets down, percolates down to their skin and it does a bunch of different things. It itches them. It puts fine dust in their feather system and the fine dust will irritate any sort of parasites and mites and stuff like that and reduce those sorts of things. And then it also uh, helps keep them clean, in a way. I mean, it's funny to think of dust as clean, but it's good clean dust. They don't just do it anywhere in all sorts of poop piles. They do it in clean dust piles. So. That's the brood. And I will probably add additional movies in a bit, but I'm going to call it for my truant hen returns on Chicken Coop Chronicles. Thanks for watching.